back, everyone. I know it's time of tough to talk about this next subject, but it's so important. Texas is among the top 10 states in the country with the most residents affected by HIV. And there is a growing need for care support throughout the South, especially in the black community. And this morning, Shadon McCants, one of the panelists for a discussion that took place at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention in Chicago, and so much more, is here to talk about the importance of getting the message out. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm yeah, so excited yes. to be here with you guys this morning. Same here, same here. So talk about it. Why in the black community do people not want to talk about HIV? People don't want to talk about HIV because it is a, because of stigma. Mm -hmm. um, it is still the belief that HIV is a death sentence and mm -hmm. it's very scary. Just the fact of the, the three letters HIV um, scares people. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is there's the other three letters that attribute to also HIV, which is sex. We don't want to talk about sex and we don't want to talk about HIV because of the fear, yes. because of the shame that's associated with it. Oftentimes people believe that the individual did something to acquire it. So it's your fault. Mm -hmm. It's you did this. And that's really not the case. There's so many ways that individuals can contract HIV. Um, and so we really need to have a conversation if we could get around, if we could, yeah, get around the stigma. Very much um, so. And yeah. there are a lot of not just, um, I know a lot of times, unfortunately, it was associated with one particular community mm -hmm. in general, but there are women who get HIV. Mm -hmm. There are children who get mm -hmm. HIV. Mm -hmm. the communities are impacted by this. But people are living longer, and especially if they talk about it and get the resources they need, that really makes a difference, doesn't it? It really does make a difference. And for the audience, I am a beautiful, bold black woman yes, who has been are. living and thriving with HIV. Yes, you are for 28 and a half years. Congratulations. Thank you. I found out at the tender age of 17 wow. um, in 1995 when, of course, it was still early in the pandemic and mm -hmm. individuals were um, unfortunately succumbing to complications related to AIDS. Um, but now in 2024, reality is, is you're able to live and thrive with a diagnosis. But the but our hope is that you will find out, right? Right. Um, that you won't, you know, unfortunately, we know people aren't getting tested the way that they need to. They're not um, taking um, access or don't have access to preventative preventions, which PrEP is one of them, mm -hmm. or PEP, which is an option as well. Um, and so the reality is, is people are living and thriving. Right. Um, and however, though, like you said, people are still though contracting HIV at now, a young age. Now, I know we have a short period of time, but I know you're, you were recently a panelist, like you said, on Left Behind. So where can people get more information so they can open up the door to conversation, get the resources that they need, and especially in the black community, remind people you are not alone in this and don't be embarrassed by it or ashamed. So there's a couple places that you can find out. Of course, Vive sponsored this, and Vive is amazing. They are the, the only farm pharmaceutical company that focuses only on HIV Wonderful. and that no individual is left behind. So if you want to find out more information, you can definitely go to vivehealthcare.com. Or I'm also an ambassador for the CDC. And yes. the CDC is another amazing place that you can go and find out information as well. And that's at the cdc.gov. So yeah. that's, those are some options. Sit on. Thank you so much for this. This conversation is not over. We're going to have more from her on our digital dive segment after our show because this is important. We're going to put it on our website, mm -hmm. cw39.com provide resources as well mm -hmm. because reminder you're not alone there could be somebody in your family who has HIV who doesn't want to talk about it we need to change that open up the conversation and continue to save people's lives yes. and thrive like you're doing it thank every you second. yes so I'm excited love seeing you all right so make sure you go to cw39.com after the show all right right now we've got of course weather to talk about Adam is busy remind